In Final Fantasy VII, you may have to face Sephiroth as the final villain, but he's not the real bad guy in there. And what could I possibly mean by that, right? You have to fight Sephiroth, he's trying to destroy the world, and it's all bad, and he caused Meteor, and all sorts of terrible shit, and sure, yeah. You have to deal with him, he's a problem in the game. Big bad villain guy, but when we really look at the world and everything, we can see that Sephiroth was a maniac with power, and okay, fine, you gotta stop those. That's, that's a given, sure, but we had this other thing sitting around that you deal with early on in game and kind of drops to the wayside a bit towards the end, and then it's called Shinra. And, well, let's look at what Shinra did, right? They single-handedly pretty much controlled the world through sucking the life energy out of the planet for power. Well, not just the life energy of the planet, but the dead souls of people and stuff, and that's now power source. And that really ethically fucked up if you want to stop and think about it for about half a second, which is, let's use the souls of dead people in the afterlife to power our lights. That seems monstrously evil. I'm just going to put that on the table. Monstrously evil. But moving on from that, they had a powerful military, the most powerful in the world, right? The whole soldier program, which produced god monster men, right? The soldiers are very scary, and they all belong to Shinra, which is a company, a corporation. And they have the most powerful military in the world and fought a war with the country. And Sephiroth is the real problem, apparently. I'm, not, I'm confused, because once we actually look at everything, yeah, sure, you stop the evil maniac of the week, but... Shinra's still there. Shinra, oh, when we look at Advent Children, things are different, right? Well, first off, there's Rufus who said that. Rufus said that. And if you know anything about the games, Rufus is a merciless bastard who gets what he wants. And you're going to just trust that? Oh, he's good now. Sure. No, no. Uh, this is a man who could lie to the Sephiroth clone people to their faces with his head. Like... Lying to everybody else isn't even a problem. Secondly, they're now introducing oil into this thing, right? That's what they have a random mention of, is they're finding oil fields and stuff, and let's exchange one form of destroying the planet for another, right? We can now produce oil pollution to cause a lifeless wasteland to surround the cities instead of Mako reactors. Oh, wait. This seems bad. <laughs> now that I think about this, this seems also bad. Hold on. Also, it seems like Shinra and Advent Children still had their power, they still had their Shinra elites around, they still, they were different a bit, it seemed, but at the same time, it looks like they still had plenty of resources, they had plenty of agents, a goddamn helicopter. That's a problem in my book. Didn't you spend a whole part of the beginning of the game fighting against the Shinra Corporation's maleficent evil? And point three, Sephiroth may have went crazy and killed a bunch of people in Nibelum, right? Which, by the way, as a little side note, you could also technically pin on Shenra for experimenting on people to create monsters out of men anyway. But, let's compare that to Shenra's plan to drop the plate on that sector, and wow, that's fucked up if you stop to think about it. They want to stop a small cell of a terrorist organization, because what was Avalanche? Eight people? So they kill everybody in a part of the city by dropping a plate on them. I think that speaks for itself. They didn't just all in the entire corporation have a heart change, you know, now we're all lawful good. Well, let's say 30 years down the line, right? A little supposition if we look at this timeline. Sephiroth's defeated, and sure, you know, that's good. The clone guys, whatever they were about, were defeated. Fine, great, but Shinra controls the world, it seems, still. Oil production's going to happen. It's going to be a smoky, smoky future controlled by the same people who made Sephiroth the problem in the first place. I, I don't see the victory that actually happened. Just something to think about.